a criminal committed a crime and was brought before a king for sentencing. And the king was a benevolent king. And he said, you have two choices. You can hang by rope or you can accept what's behind that door. And he points to an ominous, ironclad, big black door that's being guarded by two soldiers. And the criminal thinks for a moment, and he says, I choose the rope. I thought you were going to say the door. Legit, I was like, oh, I think that's that's the response of the few, right? So the criminal says, I choose the rope. The king mumbles under his breath. Everybody chooses the rope. The criminal throws up his hands as the noose is being put around his neck. He throws up his hands. He says, wait, I'm just curious. Tell me what's behind the door. And the king says, freedom. He said, everybody chooses the rope because they're so fearful of the risk. And that's one story that always sticks with me. That criminal was facing death, right? He knew. And even in that moment, he knew he was on his way out. And even in that moment, he chose not to take a risk and see what was behind the door. So that's, that's a story um, that always comes to mind when I hear risk, because you truly never know what's behind the door. No. But many times, what's behind the door is freedom. Now, it's not gifted freedom. It's earned freedom. You'll learn. But you need to pass through that door. And in order to pass through the door, you have to do one thing. And that's overcoming your fear.